may we continue with my discussion on prevention and promotion mindsets. Leaders with prevention mindset, they are primarily concerned about their ship not sinking. Do you get it? When you own a ship, you don't want it to sink. You don't want it to be blown away by the wind. You just want to continue sailing until you reach your destination. No? Ganyan po ang prevention mindset. Example, politicians, they want to maintain their status na dignified, na mabango, na walang issues, no? kahit na some of them has their own issues. They want to maintain a good public figure. No? Another example, celebrities. Iniiwasan nilang mag-trending sa Twitter because of issues. Right? They want to maintain um, a good public figure so that they'll have more and more projects. No? Ganon ang prevention. They avoid problems. They do not like to take risk. And they, may, they maintain the status quo. Okay? Leaders naman with a promotion mindset, they are focused on what is truly important. And that is reaching a specific goal or destination. That's why they anticipate problems and they are open to take risk and they advance themselves rather than maintaining the status quo. They do not care if madungisan man ang kanilang status as long as they know the truth, they will persevere. Right? Next, guys, number four, inward and outward mindsets. Leaders with an inward mindset see the people they lead as objects, while leaders with an inward mindset see them as people and valuable partners. No? When leaders have an inward mindset, they see themselves as superior and they see their followers as instruments or objects to do their bidding. No? Kung ano yung utos nila, gusto nila gawin agad ni member. So, they see their members as not people. They see them as objects na pwedeng utusan, pwedeng i-discriminate kung gusto nila. No? Thus, when an employee is underperforming, inward leaders see them replacing immediately for better ones that they could criticize or discriminate. No? When leaders have an outward mindset, they see themselves as equals of it. They are not inferior to their followers or to their members. So, if an employee is underperforming, they do not replace them. They seek to understand what is preventing them from performing at a higher level. They seek to do counseling with that employee. They ask what is wrong. No? They are willing to ask themselves, who am I being that their light is not shining? No? What sets apart a great leader from an average or poor leader? No? That is the question I want to ask you. No? These are the mindsets or the elements that no one is talking about. I'm sure that uh, some of you have not encountered ano ba ang inward and outward mindset, open and close, right? I'm sure, um, ako, I, I honestly speak lahat ng mga na-mention dito na positive, inward, prevent, uh, promotion, open. I am not perfect. Sometimes I could be close-minded. But I am never an outward leader. I always see my members as um, my key partners. I do not see them as objects. At a fix and growth, sometimes I can be fixed. I can also be growth. And these are the things that we are working because we are not perfect and we want to be the best version of ourselves by following the positive mindsets that I have discussed. No? Because mindset is very much important, guys. It's what we program ourselves to be. It's what we think ourselves to be.
no and we have to reprogram our mindset reboot our mindset kapag ka, um we are negative or kapag ka may mali sa ating mga sarili we have every right to restart reboot our mindset okay are we all good guys we move on to the advocates of leadership now i'll be introducing to you some leaders who are leading with integrity innovation and compassion so ito siya ang una guys is a leader in the fast food chain so he is colonel harlan sanders the founder of kfc or kentucky fried chicken makita you guys nakalaklak kay iso na nga naka uh, naka-discover or nang implement nang establish the KFC. This is his story. Apay nga naglakay iso na ma'am ti pictures. Apay nga ti logo ti KFC ket lakay. Lakay ba iso na idi na discover na? Yes. This is his story. At five, at at five, his father died. At 16, he quit school. At 17, he already lost four jobs. At 18, he got married and became a father. And then he became an insurance agent and failed again. At 20, his wife left him and took their baby. And then he applied for a law school and got rejected. Then he became a cook and dishwasher in a small cafe. At 65, he retired. Makita yung guys, kas lang, ang sakit, kas lang no kit kita em nothing um happy well happy ti agaroon ti anak but nothing fruitful happened in his career i'm speaking of his career he failed for so many times he quit school he lost four jobs it's so sad it's it's frightening right at 65 he retired nagretire iso na nga awan man lang the fruitful nga na pasamak the life na, right? But don't you know that when he retired, it was the start of a fruitful career, no? At 65, when he retired, he doesn't have enough money. What did he do? Anat inubra ni Harlan Sanders. Um, nagpanunod nagpanunod isuna. Tiko na na. All by myself, I all through these years and all by myself, I I I was rejected. I failed for so many times. But there was one thing I knew worth doing. It is cooking. Passion na talaga kaya agluto. I wanna cook, ko nana. And then adalang ti manunga dollars ijay packet na. Napansu naging matang iti chicken and then nagaramid iso na ti hand-tossed chicken with his own recipe. And he cooked it and he sold it door-to-door in Kentucky, USA. And then iti naglako iso na, nagatang nga sigod. His neighborhood like it. Magustuhan da na imas at nalaing nga gluto. And then every day for a few years, isot inubran na door to door isu na chicken until such time that his recipe was discovered by neighboring cities and it expanded in USA and it became known as the Kentucky Fried Chicken by Colonel Harlan Sanders. Right? So, you could see that even in the Philippines now, KFC is known in other countries in the world no so that is a manifestation that the leadership traits of Harlan Sanders are resiliency and courage he didn't give up no no nga ta siya konti i lost four jobs my spouse took the baby baka met ag suicide ako no amoyet kasi yung mindset no ngam isu na ket he did not give up instead he had this um, open mindset and growth mindset na everything will turn out fine because I am resilient, I am hardworking. No? He tried for he tried so many jobs. He tried so many things until such time nga nakita na no ana talaga kayat ng ubrain. 
at the age of 65. It means that it is never too late to pursue your passion, even if kasa, even if how old you are. No? Because as long as there is life, there is hope. Right? So that is a very inspiring story of Harlan Sanders. So nga, now you know kung bakit matanda yung logo ng KFC because he was so old when he founded KFC. I hope that you guys are inspired and you have the mindset to continue trying despite the many despites. Okay, next guys, ito naman. Um, uh, an automobile, uh, automobile uh, industry naman. A car manufacturer industry that is Ford. So, eto guys is Henry Ford. He founded the Ford Company. Right? So, I want to introduce to you Ford. So, Ford had the best practices when it comes to employees. He took, uh, uh, he took so many um, courses on employee engagement for him to be able to provide the best things and benefits for his employees. Number one, ano ang una niyang ginawa? Ang first practice na ginawa niya, he uh, increased the salary of his employees. He doubled the salary of his employees. No? Kuna na nga min, ni Henry Ford, monetary factor is a big motivation. Aminin natin, no, ada korta tayo, naragsak pa yun, di nga min, right? So, napanunot na, ah, I will double the salary of my employees so that they are motivated. Yun ang una niyang ginawa. Number two, he employed different nationalities in the world. Ford is based in USA, no, isot im muna nga headquarters da, and then he employed nationalities, Chinese, Filipinos, Africans also, Russians, to promote uh, diverse culture. No? And number three, he employed people with disabilities. It, the people who cannot see, the people who cannot walk, he employed all of them and gave them hope and a future. Right? Napaka-inspiring kasi when you are blind, kasla ka lang, um, anate term na, kasla ka lang, you are not enough. Kasla ka lang pabigat if you are blind. Right? Kasi kaawan mo, ubraan mo na eh. You cannot see, you cannot uh, find a job because certainly you cannot see. Right? But Henry Ford had a growth mindset, an outward mindset that he considered these people as his partners, as his greatest asset by giving them work. Right? So, makita yo, Henry Ford is open to new possibilities. And makatao siya eh. He was so people-oriented and compassionate. He did not only uh, think of making his business um, an empire. He did not think of becoming a billionaire Pero tikit kita ay nakit the welfare de gidi tattao. De gijay nakakaasi. De gi helpless. No? That is Henry Ford. Okay? One example, guys. If you have been to Robinsons, uh, I know that you have been to Robinsons. Ngayon napansin nyo, ijay new building, jay uh, massage area, second floor. Amoy tag mas massage kit de gijay blind. No? So, I was so surprised. Iti makita kiso that, ah, wow, this uh, company is so good. This company employs blind, giving them hope, giving them um, salary. Right? And uh, nagtag-talented na, mayat ka nung nga talaga siya massage na. And you know what? Um, no, agawid da, aglinyada nga agawid, tapos agiinigam da iti shoulders, tap nun haanda nga marigatan nga magna, tap nun they have guide no, tapos um, nagmayat to tiki tadal nga, agsasarunuda nga magna, right? So, salute to these leaders 
Next, guys, ito naman, we moved on to um, a software developer, uh, the owner of the best search engine in the world, the co-founder pala, Larry Page. No? So, Larry Page, kunana, we should be building great things that don't exist. That is his philosophy. Nag-build isuna ti Google something that is so unique that others cannot uh, build. No? So, Larry Page is very inspirational for Google employees. Don't you know, guys, that Google is the best company to work for, according to Fortune magazine. No? Namin, namin in name, nga Google is the best company to work for. Fortune magazine surveyed lots and lots of companies in the world, but still Google is the best company to work for. Why? Here is the reason why. Reasons why Google is the best workplace to work for. Okay, they have happy employees. Makita yung, as you can see in the picture, they have happy employees. When it comes to salary and benefits, uh, the entry level salary of uh, Google employees is 4,000 US dollars. That yung tikababaan ng salary. 4,000 US dollars, which is 200,000 pesos per month in peso. Okay? Uh, kababaan nga salary, 200,000, uh, naka, if you are in the Philippines, nakalaktak yung dating uh, salary. Number two, maternity leave. Um, in Google, they give five months maternity leave with pay. In the Philippines, you are only given three to four months. No? For paternity leave naman, paternity days are for the newly dads, seven weeks is given to Google employees, while in the Philippines, one week. No? For Google employees, if they avail maternity leave, they receive cash gift for child's birth. Okay? Another one, number three, death benefit naman tayo. If Google employee dies, 50% of the salary will be given to the wife for 10 years as a support for starting and for children naman of the uh, of the Google employee who died they will be given 1000 US dollars or 50000 pesos per month each children of the Google employee right so even if you are grieving even if your husband left without saying any word, Google will always support you. Right? Next, they have fun working environment. Makita yon ti um, office da. Napaka homey. No? If you have a workplace like this, you are always motivated to go. To go to the office and relax. No? As you can see in this picture, ayan, mabalinda pa ikit ding agitda. The employees are um, having their uh, lap uh, are with their laptops and they are even lying down. Next, they promote healthy lifestyle. So, Google um, let Google allows their employees to borrow bicycles and they even have their own gym. No kaya kit agbalik alin dog program you can visit the gym of Google for free. After working hours mabali mo mapan ang gym for free with complete equipment. Next guys, they have free massage. This is so nice. Okay, so if you are stressed out, you can just visit the massage area or there is also this one. This is an on-site massage. No feel mo lang uh, uh, na banog ka na sakit bukot mo, you will just call the therapist and the therapist will massage you while you are working or sleeping. 
okay? Isn't it nice? Isn't it nice to work at Google? There are so many benefits already. Ito naman, this is everybody's favorite. Okay? So, uh, this one naman, guys, is free foods. Free lunch, breakfast, dinner, whatever you like. Okay? So, this is the canteen, uh, the cafe, perhaps, and this is where you will eat. Okay? So, on-site cafes and canteens where you can have free meals unlimitedly and pick a snack and keep it for later. Mabalin ka pick it ding agiyawin. Balutin mo ako kung na, kung na di kanta. Mabalin di ka siyay. Okay? These are the benefits that Larry Page designed for his employees. No? He, his mindset is to invest in people because these are the greatest asset of any organization. Right? The mindset na kit, even if you have the best building in the world, the best strategy, the best plans. But if you don't have the hearts and minds of the people who work with you, then none of these plans will come to life. So, if you will be business owners soon, guys, if you will be entrepreneurs, invest in your people. Right? Before investing in products, people pa lang muna. Because they are not robots. They are working for your company. They are working for you to become the richest. They are working for the growth, the goals of the company. So, invest in people. Take good care of them uh, with a balanced uh, policy, right? Be fair also to, to the people. Hear them. Honor their opinions, right? Because this, they are the very reason why your company is existing. Right? So, that is Google. KFC and uh, Ford. I hope you guys had a different view on what a leader is. We need to be compassionate. We need to be people oriented. We need to be resilient and look for better ways to improve the operations and your people. Next top is we will discuss value integration and promotion for youth transformation. So, we will discuss this on our next meeting. Thank you guys for listening. I hope you learned a thing or two on leadership. And I hope you apply the uh, various mindsets that we have discussed. Not just in your future career, but in your daily lives. And hope that you could share it to others as well. Thank you for listening. Have a nice day.